First question comes from Andrew Volovich, <laughs> and they write, Hey guys, longtime viewer, love the show. My question is about this new trend of rebooting older franchises with an all female cast or lead. With actresses finally speaking out about gender inequality in Hollywood, do you think this is a bit of a cop out for studios to try and pretend they actually care about this issue? I feel that even though I'm sure these movies will be good, maybe creating some all new female driven franchises would be better for equality than spinning off what male actors have already done. Thought Okay, first of all, under the question of do are the studios just pretending to care? Yes, they're pretending to care. Of course they don't care. Look, I've said this for forever. Studios are amoral. If it sounds if it ever sounds like they're taking a moral stand on something, it's only because they believe that is the profitable stand to take. They are completely amoral. They are not immoral, they are not moral, they are amoral. Like totally and completely. They will go wherever the money leads. And if they think that means female-driven franchises, they'll go female-driven franchises. If they think that means male-driven franchises, they'll go male-driven franchises. But that being said, this isn't just a quick gimmick. We are seeing a shift in the trend of getting more female-led stuff. And it's not just these former male-led franchises like Ghostbusters. Now there's a female Ghostbusters. Remember, like one of the most successful franchises going today is The Hunger Games. Right. Female-led. What's coming out here in a few weeks? Star Wars. Who's the lead character in Star Wars? It's Rey. That's female-led. We are starting to see like one of the... A lot of people's favorite spy movie this year. Wasn't mine, but was... Spy. Uh, I mean, you start, we're starting to see that Hollywood is cluing in that, you know what? Maybe female audiences like this stuff, mm. duh. So they're finally cluing into it, and they're realizing we can do this and make money. And so while some of it is a bit of a gimmick, I feel like the Ghostbusters one is a bit of a gimmick. Gimmick, yeah. I don't think the, the uh, Men in Black one is gimmicky, no. though. If, if they went with two of them, maybe. But I think there is an overall trend we're seeing that Hollywood is wising up to this, and I hope it's a trend that continues. Anyway, Christian, what do you think about this? Well, I think one of the things that we're lucky as well, too, and the reason they're able to do this is because of the talent that's out there, and, and I think more women are getting shots to to shine. Like, look at even something like the female Ghostbusters, which I agree in premise can be gimmicky. But you also have to look at the talent that's attached there with Alyssa right. McCarthy and totally. Kristen Wiig yeah, and even yeah. uh, all, all the and Saturday Night Live cast that they have. Um, they are proving themselves outside, so people want to see them and they're, they're stars. I mean, look what Bridesmaids did alone. Right. I just, what I do agree with with what the viewer said here was that I think that they should kind of develop stuff on their own because like, look at that Sandra Bullock Ocean's Eleven thing. To me, I think it would have been a lot more... Uh, it, appealing if you would have done it. Just tell me that Sandra Bullock is doing a, a, a movie similar to Ocean's Eleven with a female kind of driven heist film. That to me is cool. But when you do an Ocean's Eleven, I've seen the story, right? I've right. done it, right? I, and that to me seems gimmicky where you don't need to. You could put Sandra Bullock, who's great with a, a cast of characters, but if you also want to spin it into action, as we look at what Scarlett Johansson and Emily Blunt have done in the action yep. genre right. as well. Edge of too. Tomorrow, you could almost say Emily Blunt was a lead. Absolutely. And she was great in them. I mean, even what she did in Looper, to where she mm -hmm. wasn't just kind of oh like the... Oh, my gosh, she was so good Yeah, she Looper. wasn't just like the quiet, no. uh, you know, rescue me. She was like the kick-ass girl in that as well, too. And I think that that's where you can push forward um, into the action genre because even that stupid movie, which I hated, Lucy made money mm. so you're going to see her do more stuff and there will be and i think that as long as what they're also doing the studios they're making material that people want to see again throwing back right. to lucy it's not a movie that was good but it's certainly a premise that people wanted to see well and lucy then got scarlett johansson the chance to be the lead in ghost in the shell which is an original new live right. action version of a very right. popular anime so i think i mean i think it's twofold i think there's a giant female audience that I think, you know, some polls say sometimes it's 51%, 55% women going to see movies, more so than men. It changes every film. So I, I wouldn't go by those polls, but what I would go by is like Ghostbusters, definitely all four women being the Ghostbusters. It's gimmicky, but why not? The first two Ghostbusters, all four men. I mean, they could mix and match it, or they could just do what they're doing now. It's it's still something new and refreshing. You can look at something like Trainwreck, though. You have Amy Schumer. That was a big hit. It was a female-led comedy. comedy. Yep. Yeah. It's a very funny film, original content. I think there's a lot of, you know, what we have now is the superhero genre taking over. In a good way, we'll see a lot of superhero-led female movies like Captain Marvel. Right. We'll see Wonder Woman. We'll probably eventually see some form of, like, I guess we won't see Black Widow, but we'll see some more female-led characters. Obviously, there'll be a Harley Quinn spinoff. Probably Birds of Prey will be next. There's going to be a lot of 
a lot of chances taken on uh, on female led comedies, action movies, superhero movies. I don't think there's any problem with that. I think it's a good thing. You know what? The one thing would take away from this perception of the gimmickiness mm. of it, though, let's take that Ocean's Eleven situation. If they just said, "Hey, we're developing a new Ocean's Eleven story in the in the tradition of the heist films," it's going to star Sandra Bullock, blah blah blah. If they just said that instead of saying it's going to be an all female Ocean's right, Eleven, right, if they right. just didn't do that, I think the gimmicky perception of it would go away, and yes. we would just take it for what it is. Well, that's the same thing with Ghostbusters to me. I think yeah. that at Ghostbusters, if you would have done um, a spinoff or like they continued the story that was there before, then I think I, people would be a lot more accepting to that because you're you're just kind of retconning all the stuff that had happened before with the great characters that with Venkman and everything too. Mm -hmm. I think that continuing a story with all female that what had been there before them could have been so intriguing. So I don't th I think that they rushed to let's just remake it with women. It's like you don't have to let them further the new the story that was there already or do something completely different. You know what would have been fun? If they had said, if, if they had, and then they're not doing this, by the way, guys, don't run with this. If they had said, these are the four daughters of the original Ghostbusters, ah, right. that totally would have worked. Like what they were going to do with Goonies. They yes, right. yes, We don't yes. know what, we still don't know what they're doing no, with Goonies. No, we don't. That's an they still don't know yeah. what they're doing with Goonies. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.